What's up everyone, it's Trainer Dell, and in this video for you, I have the Sword and Shield Sword Doggo Elite Trainer Box. What's his name? Zacian. Oh man, this was the first set that started all for Sword and Shield. Um, had this for a minute, holding it down. Uh, had no reason to open it, but it's 2023. Or just open up some product that I have. Um, I think the Elite Trainer Box will be cool to open officially on the show i don't think i ever opened one right i think i just opened up packs um and a lot of packs but that sense of sword and shield there was a time i remember on uh there's a website they don't have it anymore before time they were actually trying to clearance these packs out i don't know maybe they knew they were like dead packs or something who knows i don't really try to worry too much i mean i did pull some cool stuff um i don't know but look at that that i think and you get the golden inside this is one of the newer ones right the re-releases i think i don't know that looks cool um toss this because i think the first ones that came out the first ones did not have that style like the separation but you you guys can uh Correct me if I'm wrong. I just know I've had this, I think, around the time I was trying to do the Marnie's challenge. So, like, they weren't, like, the first wave to come out. They weren't the original ones. Um, these came out a little bit later. But when I pulled Marnie, it was like, I don't really need to open that. Spoiler alert! But, yeah, that challenge has been done. It got completed. Uh, so, this is going to be... Fun memory lane. What would be fun to open here? I mean, Snorlax. Snorlax would be super fun to open. Um, again, I think I opened them once. I don't know if it was on the channel or just for funsies. Uh, but yeah, enough dilly dallying. We're gonna just get right into these packs. And of course, you guys get the promo code or the code for the online we got fire oh, to go with the red pokemon center lady does she have a full art in here i can't remember see now man glaring me out score bunny silly cobra and roserade just a roserade zamazenta shield doggo i didn't get a shield doggo one i've seen them i think they got re-released like Again, a little bit, I would say again, but this was probably like months ago. I remember these sword and shields were popping up again, and I saw a shield doggo, but I was like, eh, I already have this one here. I don't, I don't really need a second one in my collection, but that yeah, would have been fun. I guess maybe it should have. So open it up for you guys on the channel. And we got, oh, I remember you, Stone Jorner, VMAX. Stone jar. I think I pulled that and the full art. I might have pulled the full art like on one of the very first episodes of that Marnie Monday or whatever it was. We got another one. And, uh, man, steal, Mr. Steal Your Energy Team Young. I remember, did I get them too? Uh, good times. Oh, Wulu. I forgot how cute that art is. Sobble, chillin', pink urchin. But, oh, there's something back there. Rhyhorn. Ooh, Durant and, oh, <laughs> Metal Saucer Golden Card. A secret. Oh, my gosh. So, I'm not ashamed to say that I did play a little Zacian on online and Metal Saucer. Oh, one of the really fun cards to use in that deck oh that's sick that's a nice go that pops man it maybe i should open this back then i don't know how much metal saucer goes for now it doesn't really matter but oh my gosh is that a beautiful card you ran what two, three to four per deck in the zossian and zossian was strong i don't know if it's still but i think i think they got rotated out right i think the base set got rotated out already these are like Vintage, I guess. No. No, not really. I mean, we're still in the Sword and Shield era. We're ending it, but we're still technically in it. 
Haunter. Tally Ben Rebel. What has it been? Two, three years? Sizzlapede. <laughs> the old, there's two. I forget that there's two arts of some Pokemon in here. Scorbunny and Lapras. There's like a Lapras. There's a Lapras V, a Lapras V Max. There's of course that one right there. Talking about Lapras. Oh man, that metal saucer is catching my eye. That's cool. I think when I, pull, I pulled a golden card also before on the, the Marnie Monday thing. Okay, we got electrifying energy and sports entertainment. I like that, that they're like paired up. That's so cool. Salazzle. Oh, Metal Saucer. Mm, see, Does, doesn't pop like that one. That one pops. Joltik. Silly Cobra. So silly. The Bug. Coldine. Air Balloon. Oh, Air Balloon. I used you so much in the game. So much in the well, card game. In the TCG. I needed your help so much to lower the retreat costs. Some Pokemon. That was like a staple. Like run one or two at least. We got code card for y'all. Oh, fighting out here. Fighting for more pulls. I mean, I'm pretty happy. Like, Metal Saucer, gold, like, a secret rare? I would like to get one more pull, but at the end of the day, that's still pretty cool to get a secret out of this. You don't really... I feel like the odds of an ETB is maybe two. Two pulls at that? Cloyster. Like, too hot. Like, higher than... How can I say? You at least to hope to pull two hollows. Uh, wings, you know? Because you like to think one in every four packs and there's eight packs. And it's just an odds thing, so maybe we can beat the odds. Fire! <laughs> Stumpfist. I was actually trying to play that card in the deck. Team Yell. Nick it. Chincho. De oh, is there some? I think there might be something back there. Pharisee, the second Goldeen. I like this art a little more with the lily pads rickety. And, ooh, more Peckle VMAX. Oh, I love more Peckle VMAX. I, I did play <laughs> this deck as well because everyone started playing the Pikachu one. So I was like, I'll switch off Pikachu with the Boltons. I might actually want to keep this to, uh, I don't know. Will I ever build that deck? It's a cute deck. And oh, at a time, at a certain time, the more Peko, more Pico full art was like, oh man. Like, believe it or not, at one point it was two bucks. And that's when I should have got them. I should have got the full arts for like $2. But I don't know where they're at now. I haven't. It's been keeping up. If you guys know, I've been doing a lot of Commander Y shorts, less Pokemon and Yu Gi Oh! I mean, I enjoy these cards and everything. Uh, but. With Yu-Gi-Oh, I, I usually buy the cards to like help support card, the local card shop when they do that $30 thing and you get like the lost art. So the last time I did it was the Zexel. Ah, ah Chin Shao, that was the last pack. So yeah, like, like, you know, I'm always a big believer of support your local card shop first and then do what you can afterwards. But this was pretty cool. I'm kind of glad I opened this up. The Storm Journer, uh, you know, it's Storm Journer. Someone might like it. But to open these, to, this just brings back memories like that. To me, that's what it is now. It's like, this just happened like a year ago, but, or two years ago, 2021 now, because 2023. But to get these uh, reminds me of the time where I was heavily playing Pokemon TCG uh, online. And uh, it was just really fun. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, like the video if you like it. All right, peace.